2011. clinic, clinic, high risk. is a high risk pregnancy. So bank transfer like a lot hospital. Benga twenty-three. weeks. So if you get eight, I'm telling you, Caesar, Caesar in section. They had to take him out due to some complications because he stopped moving in my tummy. He was two months ill. His birth weight was way too low, 1.2. That's one of the reasons why I had to do the KMC program. Bampatabariatusa. The doctors actually told me that this is how they work on helping the, the child grow. He was hardly breathing. Begalele, most of the time. I had to begin men's as well, pants when you know, with the other. Skin to skin helped. It helped him grow. He learned how to breathe through me. When I breathe, he also does the same. So, Kaza, look at you. Go and nag. In Gabaka, go Lula, you know, go to you. When the lab program, you can see. At first, it was difficult because he was still, he had. Huge pipes on him, but they said because Bafu no getting him season, then I'm going to up home with him. I had to get him five during that time, learn, and then at the same time balance all those huge pipes. But it was difficult. But when I went to the KMC world, it was very easy because that's what I did 24 7. When you're on oxygen, you're unable to move around with the kid because when you go for breakfast or when you go. When we go to the kitchen, because we ate, we had a kitchen in the ward where we ate. I would have to leave him on the bed. He couldn't come with me. I won. So I had to eat quicker because I couldn't do the KMC program during that time. But basically, that was the only disadvantage I had because he was still on oxygen. So when I actually wanted to sit with him, I can only do it when I'm on the bed. Which I do like every single day. Now, go to the KMC. It's a risky. So, when you are not going to do everything, you are not going to do anything. You are not going to do anything. You are not going to do anything. Oh, many ways to feed a baby. The first one, he had a pipe going through his mouth, it went straight to his tummy. And then we insect like a syringe where my breast milk, because I had to express milk every day. My breast milk would put into that cup. We had measurements that the doctor gave us each and every single day. If a child is progressing on that measurement, we had a different measurement. A day per, per feeding, at times, I got to a point where per feeding I had to express about 40 mils of milk. Sometimes I pull me, but sometimes I had to make it good to pull me for him to eat. And then from there, I started feeding him with a syringe, pouring it bit by bit in his mouth. And then we also did cup, we also do cup feeding. We teach him how to eat through cup feeding. Una mm. one year seven months, see, and then Kamalaku we can't so I mean my pride. Uh, usually, it is top of 3.5. But it is top of the leaders because it is not a bad He would kick inside. I was irritated. So, I was going to go to the hospital. I was going to go to the hospital exactly one month and a week. 1.8. Yeah, that was his weight when he got out of the hospital. 1.8. Yeah, but yeah, when I came, is I was most of the time my mom was going to work. Uba bana i again ko na wanta na waseka besi tunje. So matsaka rika me amun petong, kame amun petong do a little housework and then we see who her rovala kaiira the program. Gokbona wa kutoka banguti umtona wa kwa ngabu ya pila manje ugubu shalolo leke msi alenza. I am born. I lay on bone. So, because I am given a fellow who into seeds, who are not going to fit the malamotin. I am given a skyon and given a seed. I am 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 given a se